So you have the Ten of Swords here, a permanent ending, swift action being taken, someone coming with an offer with a Knight of Cups, someone's moving forward with an offer, and there was not a positive outcome. So there was a Ten of Swords, there was a permanent ending and not a positive outcome regarding something or situation. And someone's moving towards somebody with an offer. They're going to take some sort of action or make some sort of communication. They're going to make a move towards somebody. So let's see what's going on. I love babies. I love that. I love babies. <laughs> that was a sweet download. You're doing great, Grandma. Whoever you are. You're doing fine. You're doing fine. Some sort of secrets being exposed. What's done in darkness is being brought to light, Scorpio. So there could be an ending of um, a situation or a relationship and somebody wants to come towards somebody else and possibly express their feelings or emotions. Somebody rushed in with some sort of communication. Someone was trying to cover their ass with a Knight of Wands here. <sighs> so somebody didn't have a positive outcome. They were scrambling, trying to figure something out. Mm. So this could be the separation of a relationship. When I split the deck, the challenge is that someone was being trapped. There was some sort of communication that was trying to keep someone trapped or someone was trying to stop someone from communicating with another person. Somebody was trying to stop a communication or an interaction from happening with another person. And it looks like we have that again. Someone was trying to keep someone trapped. So someone is, was scrambling here to keep someone trapped and they're under judgment for what they did. Um, it's like someone trying to cover something up, someone's moving quickly, someone's taking, like, quick action, like, somebody was like, oh shit, someone was scrambling to cover or hide something. There's a tower moment here. Someone was hiding their true inner personality, events are out of everyone's control at this time. <sighs> somebody fucked up, okay? Um, in a relationship, so somebody could be separating from another person because they got caught doing something underhanded. <clears throat> Mm, there's conflict. This could be within a group, family, community here because of the blocking of communication or a message here with a page of um, wands here. And then that fell out and it fell out upright. So there's a tower moment when some sort of message is received or communication is received because somebody was working really hard to try to block a communication or stop a message from getting to another person. The message is going to get to that person. And this is going to be a tower moment for someone who is trying to block it. This could be significant to finances, page of pentacles. So somebody could be receiving a message regarding finances. So somebody could be struggling financially or in kind of a state of poverty here. And this message may be um, one that would help them get out of a situation, be set free from a negative situation, and somebody could have wanted to keep them bound or trapped, so somebody could have been trying to withhold some information regarding money or finances. It doesn't have to be, but it could be significant here. Somebody was being deceptive and trying to cover up some information regarding this. So there was a slippery offer here. Somebody was not empathetic. They were not compassionate here. Somebody lacked empathy when it came to keeping someone bound or trapped, they didn't care if somebody got hurt by withholding this information, stealing this. It's, this could be in the form of like mail um, or hacking someone's account or just trying to stop someone from communicating with another person, like trying to talk someone out of this. Um, someone could be uh, trying to use fear tactics to scare someone. Like you don't know how this person's going to react when they get this information. They're going to blow up. They're going to be upset. Someone could have been trying to scare someone into keeping some sort of information a secret because they're a coward. They're weak. They may have thought that you were weak. They're scared how you're going to react. They're weak. They're, they really are weak. They're not as strong as you are. And they were not compassionate with you or towards you. Somebody was very dark here. So someone was evil with a star in the reverse and the breakup of a family. So somebody didn't care that a family could have suffered or split up or was broken up. So someone may need finances possibly to get their family back. This could have to do with the download I got. I mean... 
Okay, so say this is a younger couple or something, and there was someone who was expecting some sort of money. Maybe they're looking for a place to get of their own. Maybe they're trying to get their baby back or child back. I don't know. But someone was not held in high honor. Somebody was intentionally doing something really shady and dark. And there's a transformation that's coming because somebody who was not held in high honor was trying to intentionally create barriers for someone here. Someone's going to be moving or traveling. Um, someone could be upset. They could be trying to stop someone from moving or traveling away because then they lack control or they feel like they've lost control. Somebody was a thief. Someone was trying to take something that didn't belong to them. <clears throat> this could be a parental figure. So... Okay, I mentioned in the beginning about a grandmother taking care of a child. If you are like the maternal grandparent or something, like, okay, I, I'm seeing like, okay, there, this could be a situation, doesn't have to be, but this is what I'm getting. Say you're a grandmother that's taking care of a grandchild. It could be the other set of grandparents or someone who is struggling and fighting and trying to keep someone from being the parent that they need to be or from keeping their children from going back home there's a parental figure here and it could be the opposite side because i see one grandparent or an older person that's taking care of a baby that's not theirs and it doesn't have to be a grandparent that's just the energy i'm getting um like a mother like an older mother figure like a, a mature older woman and this could even be like a foster mother or something like that so take it how it resonates okay please and thank you um someone is trying to stop um someone from taking care of their own child and um this would be a parental figure this could be a blood parental figure that's trying to stop someone from taking care of their own child it's like they would rather see the child be raised by complete strangers by their biological parents or something crazy like that and this is really sick and sad but <clears throat> let's get in here it's that, that's really bothersome to me that that really bothers me um that somebody feels like um the children are not capable of taking care of and i'm not saying like children children i mean like maybe younger 20 something like that like young parents you know this could be like their first time child or a first time child something like that it's like somebody doesn't want to give their children or child their opp the opportunity to raise their own child and they would rather see it be raised by a stranger or someone else anyone else other than their own child and this is really sick and sad like it just bothers mm -hmm. That bothers me. <clears throat> yeah, there's an empress in the reverse here. Mother, wife, lo lover figure. So this could be a mother figure here who's in the reverse. Who doesn't want their own child raising their child. Which is kind of messed up. And there's a financial imbalance. So, like I said, someone could be in poverty here. So there could be a mother figure or a father figure or a young set of parents, you know. Um, who may be struggling financially. Um, so someone else may be taking care of the child due to whatever circumstances, okay? This baby, it's being taken care of now. However, um, there are a set of parents here who are trying to get their child to raise their child. They want to be loving and caring parents, and they want the opportunity to be parents. But there's a mother figure here, whether it's on the masculine or feminine side, who is intentionally trying to stop this from happening, and that just really burns my ass. But, um, it is what it is. There's someone here who's a gold digger, um, a masculine energy, and someone who's having, you know, um, the challenge is someone is having the strength and courage and perseverance. They're going to fight for this, and, you know, they want to protect that little lamb. They want to protect that child here. And there's a masculine energy here who's only in something for the money or finances. Um, there could be a disagreement within the parents, okay? So... If this is a young, like, unmarried couple, um, there could be somebody who just wants money for a child, and but they're going to let their parents raise it. So, man, I, I, I hate this, but, okay, so there could be a mother figure, a young mother, who was addicted to some sort of substance, they were on something, or they were in prison, they were locked up, something like that. The father could have... Um, 
like could be taking care of it but it's not them that's taking care of it it could be their mother that's taking care of it so like a child's father's mother is actually taking care of the child and it is being taken care of like it, it's a good baby it's it's a sweet baby it's being well cared for but the father's only doing something for the money and they're not the one that's actually taking care of it it's their grandmother that's taking care you know it's their mother which would be the child's grandmother that's taking care of it and there's a mother figure that actually wants to raise their child and take care of the child and do the right thing by the child. But someone is blocking some sort of communication. And it could even be in the form of possible, a possible reconciliation between these two young parents. So these two young parents could ultimately get back together. But this parental figure, there's someone who, even though they're... There's someone here who's taking care of a child, but they may not have the child's best interest at heart. They do, but they don't. Um, someone here doesn't. Okay. Um, there's financial security that's coming in, and someone is daydreaming about this. And they could be daydreaming about or thinking about or obsessing about the life they want to give their child or the life they want to have with their child, taking care of their child. But there's like... Um, a grandmother figure or an older um, couple here that could be interfering here and there could be a masculine here that's not really wanting to step up and necessarily be the father but they want some sort of money or finances for this child even if it's in like foster care or something like that someone could be receiving money or finances for taking care of a child and they don't want to give that up this is really sad king of cups someone's emotionally unstable unbalanced judgment has been called on someone here <clears throat> whether this is the father or grandfather of this child you're going to heal from a heartbreak there could have been a significant loss of finances so somebody could have lost their financial security and that could have caused problems here you may have had to pay out a lot in fines or restitution or something like that or you may you know you may just be broke because you had to pay out um like probation something like that there's a tower moment something is not going to work in someone's favor here because they made a bad decision to disrupt a family unit here and they tried to interfere with some sort of resources or finances that this family was going to receive that could possibly result in a unification or you know um, a reunion of a family here between a younger couple and allowing them to raise their child there could be a grandparent here who feels like they could raise a child better than the parents themselves. And, um, you know, it could be them or another set of grandparents here or somebody here, an older couple or somebody here who's older that's interfering in this. Thing. I'm not liking that. <clears throat> somebody here celebrated too soon just because somebody is juggling finances. That's not always going to be the case. Just because someone's juggling finances does not mean they cannot take care of a child. People do it every day. The children or this child deserves to be with their parent. There's someone here, there's a group of people here that are trying to attack someone, okay? It's like they're being ganged up on. They're trying to protect their peace. They're trying to do what's right. They're trying to stay neutral for the sake of their child. And they have money coming towards them, but there's a high priestess here in the reverse. Someone who thinks they know better than this person. You're coming out of the cold here. Someone here is coming out of the cold. But you're in poverty, okay? So it's like, you know... You may be struggling financially, but that's coming to an end. You're moving to your Queen of Pentacles energy. So whatever seeds you've planted, um, you know, it's like the rags to riches kind of thing. And you know what? Maybe if you get a tax check or something like that, that's going to help you. You're going to receive some sort of finances that's going to help you. This could be unexpected help. You could be getting a home. Maybe that's what you need, a home, a stable environment. There's something that's going to happen, but you're in your Queen of Pentacles. You're going to be in your Queen of Pentacles energy. It's like the Page of Pentacles is stopped. The poverty is over, and you're moving into your Queen of Pentacles energy. 
And this doesn't have to be the exact situation, but for someone it is. Like, this is a very specific situation, but for some of you, you could just be a parent and someone is trying to interfere with your ability to raise your child or take care of your child. But there is a specific scenario that I am picking up on regarding this situation, and it's kind of pissing me off um, because there's no reason for this bullshit. And even if you're not, like, a young in your 20s, you could be in your 30s, you know, whatever. <clears throat> but this is a young child, whatever this is. This, this is involving a young child. And there was an emperor here, a masculine energy, who was kind of a tyrant. They created a very emotional situation. This is the King of Cups. So, you know, this person could fluctuate with their emotions. They mean they may need to do some healing. This could be a younger emotionally. They could be young emotionally. Even if they're an older person, they could be young emotionally. So they're acting kind of in an immature way. And somebody was daydreaming. Um, they, they could have been obsessed with removing some sort of options regarding this other parent. So somebody could have been using like parental alienation and it could have been a masculine here who was only concerned about finances regarding their child, only about the money that they were going to get, but they're not the ones who's actually taking care of the child. It's actually one of their family members, an older feminine family member who's actually taking care of the child. <clears throat> Someone is seen as held in high honor here, but this is a karmic relationship. So, you know, this is a situation where there could be a feminine here, a mother figure, who's going to have to learn their lessons or learn their lessons regarding this masculine energy and possibly how manipulative that they were because you may not have expected this person to do what they did or act how they did. There's a group here that could be scrambling to figure out what to do. With the Five of Wands, there's communication, there's talk. Um, you know, it takes a village to raise a child, but at the same time, there's a group here. It's like there's two families that are at odds, conflicting with each other. And it could be the mother's side of the family and the father's side of the family. And there's just they're just not seeing eye to eye with what to do regarding the situation. And it's really unfortunate. So secrets being exposed, the moon card. Someone does have money coming towards them. The secret's going to be exposed. Someone's going to find out they do have money coming towards them. And somebody was just a gold digger. There is a masculine energy here that's only in it for the time, money, energy, resources. They're not willing to put in the time, money, energy, resources, but they want them. Someone here is going to have their financial security, their financial stability, and you're going to have a clean slate. This masculine energy created an imbalance. And somebody admires you. And it could even be your child. Your, it could be, a, I'm getting like a childlike innocence. Someone admires you. They love you. They don't know any better. And this is a child who is innocent. There was an injury that was caused. The wounded warrior here. This king of pentacles, this gold digging ass energy created an imbalance and it hurt someone. And you've been working really hard during this emotional situation. Somebody could have cost you your job. You could have lost a job. Somebody was trying to stop you from building a legacy. And that includes building a relationship with your child. And that just... Mm. Somebody could have intentionally costed you a job, made you lose a job, so that maybe you would lose your financial support to support your family so you couldn't get ahead, so you couldn't get rights back to your child. They could be interfering with your visitation with this child. Whether it's your blood family or foster parents, something like that. Like someone is causing you drama. They cause, you know, someone lost a job. They were hurt. They were injured by the loss of a job. By the loss of their ability to make money, resources. And whoever you are, you're busting your ass. And someone is admiring you for this with the Page of Cups here and the Eight of Pentacles. Um, the five of cups, there's a very emotional situation. It's like you're busting your ass. Man, I feel you. I feel you. I feel you. <laughs> you, you could have lost a house. You could have been kicked out of a house because somebody didn't want to come towards you with an offer. So it could be a, the mother figure. It could be a mother figure here. The Empress in the reverse it could be a mother figure of, um, 
the father of this child here that was trying to talk them out of reconciling or to cause disruption like you don't want this person they're trouble you know they're this that and the other like someone was shit talking you but it's because <sighs> okay so the reason <clears throat> i hate to even go there but this this feminine energy okay this mother figure that could be the mother to this masculine figure that wants to raise this child. Like, this person could want to raise this child, want to raise this baby. Maybe they just want, like, a do-over because they could have feel, felt like they didn't do well. You know, like, maybe they didn't have enough time or something to raise their child. Maybe they wish they could have done better. I don't know. Whatever the bullshit reason is. Like, I'm, I'm not going to excuse their behavior. Whatever reasons... They're doing it for the wrong ones and not for the best interest of this child. It is for their own selfish reasons. And they brought a tower moment because someone still wants to come towards this person with an offer. This masculine has possibly been thinking about this mother figure, possibly about reconciling. Once again, tower moment and a permanent ending. So there's a tower moment here. And, you know, there was a permanent ending. Someone tried to create a permanent ending to someone's ability to care for their child by affecting their job, their career, whatever they were trying to do to support their family. And there's a tower moment. Someone could be getting slapped in the face with the reality of who um, their own parents are because someone is innocent and there is a positive outcome. Someone didn't do something intentionally to hurt their own child, and I'm strongly getting that, that someone didn't do something to hurt their child on purpose. Someone brought some bad luck upon themselves with the decision they made to try to cause a permanent ending to someone here. There's going to be some information or communication regarding a court or a judgment. There's some sort of information that's traveling. It's going to be a positive communication, positive judgment, positive information. Somebody tried to kick someone out of the house because they were addicted or obsessed and the addiction and obsession could have to do with this child, like a young child, possibly an infant child. There's a group here and that was to stop someone from going towards them and making them an offer. It was like they were trying to break up a family or stop a family. Maybe, you know, someone's mom doesn't like you or something like that. If you're the divine femme here, if you're the mother of this child, this person's mom doesn't like you, you know, your baby daddy's mom can't stand you. And that's fine. That's whatever. That's her problem, not yours. You're still entitled to raise your child. So maybe you lived with them for a while and they kicked you out of the house that you could have, they could have accused you of being on substances. They could have accused you of the reason the child was going through withdrawals. And you could have legitimately been on some sort of medication prescribed by a doctor. It doesn't have to be illicit or illegal substances that you were on. And it could have been. But maybe now that you gave birth to this child, maybe you want to get your life straightened out. You have a support group. You have community resources available to you. You're going to have a positive outcome. It's just going to be... It, it, it's a struggle. I, I, I feel your pain. I feel your pain. You're, you're dealing with a lot of shit. <clears throat> and some of it you may have brought on yourself and some of it you didn't. There's a king of swords here. There could be a judgment going in your favor. Some sort of truth being spoken here. Someone who's thinking logical. And this is going to be an emotional situation. Someone's going to be emotional about a judgment that's going to happen. Because someone tried to take something that didn't belong to them. This ace of wands. You were given a gift. And I feel like the gift is involving a child here. And they tried. someone tried to take something that didn't belong to them. <clears throat> So there's a judgment here that's going to be emotional for someone. They tried to weaken you by affecting your finances, by kicking you out on the street, possibly making you homeless so that you couldn't get your child back. Someone was a tyrant. There's a masculine energy here who tried to take something that didn't belong to them. You're going to get your treasure. There's going to be a judgment. You know, this is your legacy. This is... The treasure here, the Seven of Cups, 
doesn't have to be something of monetary value. The Ace of Wands doesn't have to be something of monetary value. It is what you hold dear to you. It is what you hold as valuable. And not everyone worships money. Some people want to do the right thing. And they want to break those generational curses. And they want to take care of their ch children. People want to give up the drugs. People want to make the right decisions. And sometimes, you know what? That light doesn't always come on until they give birth to a child. And this person, this mother figure has had an aha moment. They've had an awakening. And someone is being a pain in their ass and trying to stop them from being the parent that they want to be to their child. I feel for you. I really do. I feel for this mother. Because someone was listening to rumors... And you're being guided by your ancestors to make the right decision, you know? Like I said, when you gave birth to, the, to this child, it could have been a light switch. Your ancestors are like, wake up, boo. Time to do the right thing. You've been called. This shit lays on you to break that cycle of abuse, to break that drug abuse, the alcohol abuse, whatever. It's time to step up and be the parent you want to be, that you need to be. And so you've been called to do that. You have been called to do this. And someone is trying to block you from doing what you're being called to do. To love that child. I don't care if this grandparent is taking care of this child. Um, they're not this child's parent. You are. And they can't just take what doesn't belong to them. They may have sort of good intentions. But it's for the wrong reasons. There's a group involved. There's a group that's significant. A family a group. You just want to be left alone. To raise your child. Something was fake love. I did not trip and fall. So something was like unrequited love. So maybe there was not a reconciliation. Somebody may have just wanted to have a child with you. For money or resources. But they're not, like I said. They're not even taking care of this child. There's a group here. Um, in a family that's trying to cause you problems, they want you to leave them alone. They want to, you know, they want you to just disappear. That's not what's going to happen here. You really do love your child. They were spreading rumors that you're not a good parent, that you're not capable, that you're weak, this, that, and the other, whatever bullshit. Someone really thinks that it's not a big deal, that it's not serious, that there's not consequences for these actions. But how do you think this, this child's going to feel? Doesn't this, and, and trigger warning, I don't mean, you know, if you're going through this, man, I feel for you. I really do. I don't mean to upset you. Because you deserve better than the shit that you're going through. You deserve better. You you didn't deserve this. I don't, I, I know you may have had to pay for the consequences of whatever decisions some of you have. You know, you made decisions. But now you're trying to make the right ones. <clears throat> and not everyone made bad decisions some people were just the victim of circumstances here and um you know you couldn't you know maybe you were just the wrong place at the wrong time you know and i'm not making excuses for bad behavior but someone is a religious figure so someone may want to raise this child in um, a religious style like this is the kind of person that would want to drag this child to church every Sunday against their will. I'm not saying there's anything wrong going to church, but this person feels like they can indoctrinate them and raise them the way they feel they should raise this child instead of giving the parents the opportunity to raise this child as they see fit. Um, maybe they just don't like you because you're not a religious person. Maybe you don't go to church. Maybe you're more of a spiritual person. Whatever the reason, this person has religious... <sighs> mm motives behind something as well they're they're using religion um they feel like they can raise this child with better morals and ethics than you and i'm not saying that's the case i'm just saying that that's what they're they're claiming like their energy and that it's really bothersome to me the way that they're trying to use this as an excuse to keep you from your child i'm not liking that they were not telling the truth. Someone's obsessed. They need to let this go. They need Someone needs to let this shit go. They're trying to scare you. They're guilty of doing something intentionally to you. Um, or against you. Working against you. And they're trying to make you paranoid. They're trying to scare you. To keep you away from this child. 
Maybe they told you not to come back around, not to see your child. They're trying to guilt trip you. They're trying to make you stay away from this child. And they're trying to say that they could give this child a better life than you. And if you're pregnant, about to give birth, maybe you've been thinking about putting a child up for adoption or something like that. Maybe because you feel like you don't have the resources or finances to take care of this child. This could be your message. Your child needs you. And I'm not saying adoption's wrong. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that. Someone needs to know that you do have the ability to care and love for your child and it will work out just fine. The child will be healthy. It will be fine in your care. There's nothing wrong with you raising your own child. You don't have to be forced into doing something, giving up your child or staying away from your child. This could even be your own mother and father trying to force you to give up your child for adoption and you don't really want to, but you may be scared about how you're going to have the finances to raise this child. Don't let other people scare you into doing something that you know is wrong. You're being guided by your ancestors. Whoever you are, this specific, you are supposed to raise this child. You are supposed to raise this child. You're innocent. This child is innocent. And someone really does have no shame. They're unapologetic. They're very arrogant. Someone was eavesdropping, listening in on something, and they thought they had some sort of authority or power. They could use your own fear tactics against you. A relative is involved. And there's something significant about 9 to 12 months here. So some of you could still be pregnant. Or you could have been pregnant. You could have just given birth. They were trying to stop an injustice for, from being made right. They're... They could have been driving by your house trying to catch your drug dealer. And I'm not saying you you know, you know were on drugs, but for some, for someone, someone was driving by your house trying to catch a drug dealer up at your house, trying to catch you buying drugs or something. They were eavesdropping, listening to your conversations, trying to find out who your dealer is. They're trying to set you up. They're trying to catch you slipping. We all have baggage, honey. That doesn't mean you cannot raise your child. We all have baggage. We all do. That doesn't mean someone's better than someone else. Someone has racked up some spiritual karmic debt. You gotta make it right this lifetime. You gotta make it right to this child this lifetime. Maybe in a, in a past life you made a wrong decision. You could have chosen not to raise this child. You could have let people run you off, scare you off. You regretted that decision in a past life. You have spiritual karmic debt. You need to make it right this lifetime. I'm going to say this. Time out. If you know you're going to be a shitty ass parent and you know you're not capable, if you know you're not going to give a shit about this child, by all means, let someone else raise this baby. Let someone else love this. Let that grandparent raise this baby. But if this is for you and you want to do the right things and you're going to make it right this lifetime, then by all means do this. But you fucked it up in a past life, and here's your. this is your opportunity to make this right this lifetime. But if you know, like my oldest daughter, I'll tell you right now, she doesn't like kids. She doesn't want kids. And I applaud her. She says she never wants to have kids because she knows she wouldn't be a good parent. She doesn't want kids. And she doesn't have a drug problem. She doesn't have any of that. But she knows that she just doesn't like kids. So... If you know that that's you and you don't want to deal with kids, then don't have kids. Don't abuse them. Don't hurt them. But for those of you who made this decision in the past and it hurt you to your core and you always wish that you could make it right, now is your opportunity to make it right in this lifetime. Okay? Somebody just laughed at your problems. You know, if you were suffering, if you were struggling, some people didn't help you out. It could have been your own family. It could have been, you know, your baby daddy family. Someone laughed at you. They didn't think you were capable of, you know, you know, nut up or shut up, you know, like manning up, womaning up, you know, whatever you got to do, take care of this child. Do what you got to do. Do what you have to do. <clears throat> Someone is a greedy, bottomless pit. Someone only cares about money, what they can get. 
from this situation. Someone's just trying to use a child for money or resources, and if that's you, or someone that's connected to you, whoever that is, shame on you. Whoever that is, that's, yeah. A family member here. There's a family member who's fit to be tied. They're greedy. Don't burn your bridges. They burn their bridges with you. Whoever this is, they did you really dirty. They did you really, really dirty. And it could be your family member or <clears throat> your child's other side of the family. They wanted you to lose everything but the kitchen sink. They stomped all over your toes. They didn't want you to have anything. These people are bad to the bone. You have an ace in the hole. You have an ace up your sleeve. And that's divine protection. You and your child have this protection. Whoever this message is for. You're blessed more than you know. They wanted to keep you trapped. They wanted to stop you from being set free. Free and easy. Free as a word in the reverse. You're passionate. Your passion, your hard work, your dedication to this child is what's going to save your, your bloodline. Whatever that means to you. Whatever that may be. Somebody was dedicated with jumping in to doing this with whatever action. This family member, this relative of you or your child. Um, they were dedicated, but it's all about money, and they didn't have a clue what they were doing. They're ignorant. I'm not saying they're not capable of taking care of a child. What I'm saying is, is they're doing it for the wrong reasons. They don't have the child's best interest at heart. They may feel like they do, but something is all about the money. You could have been this child. You could be an adult child. This could have been your story back when you were a kid. This could have happened to you. It could be happening to you now. It could be happening to you in the future. January could be significant. I came out sideways. That's now in your future energy. So January is significant to somebody here. <clears throat> Something was never about love. It, it wasn't. Some, something wasn't about love. It was about money. At the end of the day, somebody wanted control, and they're using a child to do this under his or her thumb. At the end of the day, someone didn't love you. They want to control you. They want to control how you live your life. They think they can live your life better than you. There's something significant about summertime and a Capricorn. Someone is a fair weather friend. Someone is doing something in the nighttime to control someone or something it's like possibly even putting a curfew on you. I mean, this is like shady ass shit. You could be a grown ass adult and someone's like, okay, well, you need to be home at this specific time. You need to do this. You need to do that. Like someone's trying to control you down to like, you know, even if you take your child with you, like that kind of thing. Like say you leave the house, maybe you go visit a friend. You even take your child with you. Someone's like, all right, you better be in this house by 9 p.m. Like that kind of shit. Like someone's being ridiculous. It could be your parents or the other set of parents. I don't know. But someone is easily tempted by the low-hanging fruit here. So be careful. Someone's a fair-weather friend. Someone is going to try to tempt you. Do not give in. If you did struggle with substance abuse in the past, be careful. Don't be hanging around those people. Because, um, you know, you may have an ad addiction-like tendencies. So just be careful about these fair-weather friends who only want you around for what you can benefit them, what you can do for them. Someone only cares about money, not in my backyard, just anyone that you feel like is going to tempt you or you're going to struggle being around, you may need to relocate, move, travel, get away from these people. <clears throat> Excuse me. The only way you're going to, you know, better you and your child's life is to just get away from these people. Don't hang around people that you feel like you're going to be easily tempted by. something is not written in stone someone felt like something was final it's not written in stone this is somebody that you loved and lost this is not written in stone you may feel like something is final it's not over till the fat lady sings and she has not sung yet it's not over until you allow it to be over until you choose it to be over keep fighting if this is what you want like I said, if you know this is not your path, if you know that you're not going to be a good parent, if you know this child would suffer abuse or have to watch you struggle with addiction your whole life, <clears throat> by all means, let this person be raised by their grandparents. They will be taken care of either way. But 
for some of you in a past life you made a decision to give up a child or something like that and you regretted it until your dying day and this is your chance to make this up this lifetime okay better late than never someone was just trying to scare you away from being who you're supposed to be we always have the opportunity to change to grow to ascend better late than never okay <clears throat> and to be fair someone could be passing soon so um one of these grandparents who want to raise this child could actually be passing you know someone's an older age someone's getting up there in age so um for some of you this person who wants to raise this child they may be passing soon um they may not even know they have this health issue yet but um they may not know you may not know uh, but they could be receiving a diagnosis and they could be passing soon and then where's this child going to be okay i could be significant person place or thing and or W. O. O. A. Another R. I'm going to do one more. E. Ariana could be significant. I don't know. I'm not good with some names. <laughs> oh, I'm seeing the letters here and I'm seeing a very beautiful name, but I'm not sure like how exactly it's going, how it's going to be spelled. Um, but it's a very beautiful name. So there could be someone here that um, could be of darker skin, darker complected here. Um, and there could be someone who's light-skinned as well. Um, but whatever these names are, um, Ariana, Aria, Aria, um, I don't know, there's, there's a couple different spellings and I'm not quite sure how to pronounce those. Like, I, <laughs> no offense, I'm, I'm very lighter-skinned here. <laughs> I just, I don't want to say the wrong thing, but, um, you're going to do great, Mom, whoever you are. All right, I hope this helps. Have a good night.